Hey everybody, The Amazing here, bringing you a review of the Figma Octype 2.0 male version. The only difference between this and the flesh color one is absolutely just color. Otherwise, the same figure with the same accessories. So let's get into the review. First off, I want to start by saying it's already a huge improvement over the original body, which I have right here. And just so you guys can see, a lot of complaints that came with the male 1.0 is simply because it looked like he had man boobs. Um, also, it was small, the head was unproportionate, things like that. This one already gives you kind of like a pre-done sculpt. So they give you the muscular body. They give you the toes and, and the articulation. They give you toe pivot. And they make some overall good changes. There are some issues, but we'll get into that later. But first off, I want to go over the articulation of the figure. The head can sort of move left and right, but not really. So that's a downer. He can look pretty far up. But that's about as far up as he's going. He can actually look pretty far down. There is no bicep swivel, but there is a bicep rotating joint on the ball joint. It's double jointed, rotating of the wrist all the way around 360. There's plenty of ab rotation, ab crunch. It's a little weird because just like with the SHF trunks, there will be a huge gap in his back. But like always, um, Use it for articulation. If you want to show off the back or do anything like that, don't worry about it. Like most Figmas, you don't get the ab crunch at the lower waist. You can rotate and turn it slightly, but you don't get actual crunch from the waist. It's all from the upper torso. So be aware of that. As far as legs, they go up. This is soft rubber in the middle for the crash area. So as you can see, it doesn't hinder the figure in any shape or form. And this one actually has real ankle pivot, so you can actually rotate it all the way in. So you can actually do a bunch of cool poses. The only problem is the brinks in the joint on the Figma one actually make it look a little weird because if you want to do something like repaint it or turn it into a custom, all the brakes in the joints will look a little weird. Otherwise, you're absolutely fine. Now in terms of height, this is actually still a pretty small figure. The first one was absolutely really, really small. So the SHFs are actually really small and it's smaller than that. Then we're going to compare it to a legend. And as you can see, scale-wise, in terms of height, he's really tiny. And the female Archetype 2.0 is smaller than that, too. So I want everybody to know the Figma Archetype is actually really small. And in comparison, I'll even bring out the SHF blank body so you can compare the two. And you can see that height-wise, it's still very small. So there's a lot to be learned from it. Although it does look good aesthetically and visually, it still lacks some of the things as far as like breaking components of joints, bicep swivel, and it lacks accessories. Now, although the SHF one doesn't come, if you're not getting buying the DX, it doesn't come with it as many as possible as well either. To just come with three sets of hands is not ideal, but you do get a good price point at $35 and $40. You definitely get a good base figure. So it does look anatomically correct. So it has its good points and it has its bad points. Me personally, I still prefer the SHF if people are asking me. Yes, I still prefer SHF. But for aesthetic reasons and just visual looking, you can buy the the Figma one for a cheaper price. So there are a lot of people who prefer Figmas over their Bandai's. Me, I prefer Bandai. But for those people who prefer Figma, this is something you definitely want to look up because it'll be in scale with all your other non-scale Figma figures because Figma is considered non-scale. So that's something you want to look into. In the meantime, it's still a very solid figure, but no, it is not better than the Bandai one in my opinion. Visually, yes, it's appealing, lacks some ab crunch in some areas, and still lacks a lot of accessories. So there's a whole lot more to be wanting. In the meantime, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Hope I kept it short and sweet. If you feel like I missed something, just add it in the comments. Let everybody know. Have a good one, guys. Later.